with even being surrounded by all of this Panamanian beauty, there's still a few things I hate and cannot stand about being in Panama. How much have y'all heard about this Panamanian protest that's going on right now? It's about day 12. If you're in America right now and you're considering moving here, retiring in Panama, or even visiting, it's a few things you need to know. So right now, I am walking through the, uh, the grocery store. This is Super Baru and it is doing the protest. If you look, take a look right here, y'all. It is no meat, no corne ribs, no pollo, no none of that. All that's left is disgusting parts of the dang on pigs and, and all of that. So right now, in Panama, all over Panama is a huge protest and it's been about 11 days now and it might even be longer. So it seemed to happen once or twice a year. So if you don't like that type of stuff, shortages of gasolina, and agua and, and all of that stuff, then it might be a problem. Look at this. Look, this is all that's left. This is it. So, and we don't even eat pork. So, I don't even know what the hell we supposed to get up out of here. Now, when you look at the fact that the prices in Panama for food is already high as hell, um, then you go ahead and couple it with the fact that they are literally running out of all of the food. <laughs> the shelves are empty. Right now, you guys looking behind me, they got cat food. Now, let me flip it around. As you can see, look at the shelves. This is the effects of a government not really <laughs> siding with their people. Excuse me, I'm running into, running into people while I'm trying to tell y'all what's going on here in Panama. So what is the worst thing about this Panamanian protest that we're having here? Not knowing how long this is gonna go. <laughs> they got rid of all the meat. They're holding up the traffic. What do you recommend people to do to not go crazy during this protest in Panama? I, sh I would say just make sure that you are prepared. All right, so what are some things you're doing to cope with this protest? Work. What kind of work? For our children. Doing to cope with it? Bible study and before it happens, just prepare. Both. What are you doing to keep yourself busy? Looking forward to a better place. So has these protests changed the way you look at living in Panama? And if so, how has it changed? Yes, it definitely changed because it happened last year, you guys. It happened last year, and it lasted two weeks. So this year, I don't know how long it's going to last. So how has your outlook on Panama changed? Has it? It hasn't changed. Has your views of Panama changed, and if so, how? You know, because it happened last year, and wherever you go, you just got to prepare. Just got to prepare, huh? There's going to be issues everywhere you go. Mexico went perfect either. All right, Ty, has your views changed about Panama since the protest? How is it affecting you? They turn off the water? Yeah, they turn off the water and we can't really wash dishes. Dang, that sucks. And what do you think, ISIS? It's all right. So what advice would you give to somebody that's uh, traveling to Panama? They booked their tickets and they're about to slide through Panama around this time. <laughs> Don't come. Yeah. Schedule your flight to a million years later. Maybe for really poor. Stay where you're at for the time being. All right, so in closing, um, Right now is probably not the best time to travel through or to Panama. A lot of roads are blocked off. The gas is not traveling through the country. Uh, it's hard to get water and everything like that. I'm talking about drinking water and uh, like your water goes out probably like around 8 p.m. and doesn't come back on until the sun comes up. Um, so right now it would probably be annoying to you if you were coming to Panama. But it's still a beautiful country. We're not bashing it and we love living here. But during the protest times is uncertain times, right? So hopefully we gave you some things that you could do to cope. Hopefully we give you some information. Uh, we are back on the Journey to Tomorrow channel. Y'all haven't seen us for probably like three years, but we are back and we live in Panama. Subscribe for new updates for what it's like living in Panama.